Right, we have been commissioned or cajoled or beaten into submission. Uh, a really old, old friend of mine, a very good friend of mine, uh, John, who I used to work with on Valent, as um, last year, which wasn't that long ago because it's January. So um, it seems a long time ago, but it wasn't. But anyway, it is actually. Um, he came around to see me last year and asked me if I could make something for his father in law for his father in law's birthday. Now his father-in-law's a bit like myself, he's got a big double workshop and whatever, but he's really into motorbikes, and in particular Triumph motorbikes, or motorcycles, motorbikes. And uh, he said, I've got some bits, he said, if you can make something for him for his birthday. So um, his birthday come and went, and still no bits. Then it was like, can you make him something for Christmas? So I said, yeah, bring the bits around and I'll see what I can do. So um, Christmas has been and gone. And eventually he came around yesterday because he needed some very old parts off my van. I brought the parts around and said, can you make him something for Father's Day? So at least we've got three or four months to uh, come up with something. So, we have had a twin carb delivered, which I've managed to get apart because I need to clean it, and it's absolutely rotten, so that's going to be fun. And we've got a switch, and we've got a bag of bolts, and all the other things in here, and I don't know what we've got here. We've got bits of this, bits of that. We've got some silvery ring things, and... Uh, Cog, nice cog. Um, a few other bits and bobs, nuts and bolts. Oh, that's handy. We've even got a couple of spark plugs. Might be able to use those for something. But anyway, that's what we've got. So I thought, well, I'll video this now before I get started. So at least I've got some kind of record of what's going on with it. I've already got an idea of what we're going to do. Um, but I've really got to start cleaning now. So oh, I hate cleaning stuff, but there you go. But I'm videoing this just in case, because this could be quite spectacular. Alternatively, it could be catastrophic. But we'll have to wait and see. Never mind. Right. See so if we can come up with some ideas. Right. We have got some degreasing fluid. I've stripped down the carburetors now into three bits, as in the actual two bodies, and then I've got the caps over here, so I'll come back to them because they're probably the easiest ones, but as you can see, these are in pretty bad shape. So somehow we're gonna try and clean them up. Uh, washing up bowl, some brushes, scrubbers, and some fluid. So I'm gonna put some gloves on, and then we're gonna start tinkering around with um, this and see if we can get it cleaned up. That's of course uh, what I have to drink my tea first though. Lovely jubbly. So that's quite impressive. I've only been at it a couple of seconds or a minute or so, and already you can see that. But you can see the colour of the metal coming through already. So looking good. Get a toothbrush maybe, getting these little spaces. I think we're near enough there considering it's even starting to just run off even with the fluid. And this is no nonsense, heavy duty degreaser from Screwfix, and I have to say, very impressive. Now, just come back from the uh, garage where I do all the welding, all the metal work. I've cleaned up all the parts with degreaser, and they've all come up quite nice actually, they're pretty clean. Well, the bits I need to be clean anyway. Um, but to give you some idea, I've just been out in the polishing wheel to see if I could get any kind of shine or polish onto any of these parts. This is, you're not going to see this, but this might give you some idea. I don't know if you can see that, but that's the old one. Well, that's what it was originally like, and this now is what it's come up like on the polishing wheel. So if I can get these other four parts up as nice as that, this is starting to look good. Um, also, I've got to give that a wipe over and a polish with a cloth and stuff because it's a bit marked 
bit of grease and stuff on it but uh but yeah looking good if they all come up like that this is going to look quite spectacular so uh i'll crack on with the rest of it and i'll let you know how we get it on